Right, in this video I'll be showing you a few advanced tweaks you can do in Ubuntu Unity and GNOME 3 desktops. So for example, changing the thumbnail size in Nautilus, adding the icons in the pop-up menu, changing the default media player under the sound menu. So I've gone for a Clementine there. So I've got rid of Rhythm Box and swapped it for Clementine. As well as a few other tweaks. Now, there's two programs you need to install. There's Dconf Tools and the Gconf Editor. I've put notes of those in the description below. Let's go and take a look at what the programs can do. So both are fairly similar in layout to what you could do with the Windows Registry Editor. Not that we're running a registry in Linux, of course, we're just changing various configuration files in one go. We'll start with the dconf editor. Under apps, there's nothing too much you can change there. Oh, notify on screen display, you can change the position of it. And again, you've got the description at the bottom telling you what different values you can put in. The onboard on screen keyboard. Nothing much special under CA. Next one we'll look at though is the COM one. Under Canonical Indicator Sound, you can change which media players show up in the sound menu. So as you can see I've blacklisted Rhythmbox and put Clementine as my interested media player. You can also swap that for Banshee. I'm not sure what other media players are supported with it though. Under Unity 2D, Launcher Behaviour, Hide Mode. Well there you are, I've got IntelliHide or Dodge Effect, Never Hide and Auto Hide. Moving on under desktop, I think there's a few settings that you might be able to change under Unity. Ah, oh, that's just some of the previous history. So for runner, then that's the Alt and F2 menu. So you can see I've got GK Zen ZenMap and Compass Replace. So I could get rid of the history there. Under org, it's GNOME desktop interface. Quite a few options you can change here. So buttons have icons. The cursor theme, I've already done a video on changing the cursor theme. It's not just that option there, you've got to do a terminal command as well. Change the default document font name. Themes, menus have icons. Another default font you can change. Ah, you can even change the Ubuntu overlay scroll bars. Not sure whether that's the only option you need to change. I haven't tried it before. Sounds interesting though. I'll scroll down a bit further, go for the Nautilus. Under icon view, there's your thumbnail size. So I found 134 is quite nice for a widescreen desktop monitor. Something like 112 is better for a netbook size screen. Oh, one other thing I forgot to mention there, the GNOME system monitor. You can change the CPU colours. So if I just look at resources, you can customise the colour of the CPU graph. Uh, memory colours as well. Lots of uh, useful little settings there you can change. Alright, moving along and having a look at Gconf editor. It's not so much really worth changing in this one. Certainly two notable options worth changing. Under Apps, GWD, got the Metacity theme, so that's the active opacity is that window. The inactive opacity is now that colour. As you can see, the partial transparency. Well, and just looking at the item above, the GNOME terminal, you can change all the key bindings. So you can put Paste as Control v and just double click on those and you can retype. So where it was before was Control shift v just took that out. Same for a lot of the various other options there as well. Just get rid of the stupid shift character as well. I don't know why GNOME Terminal had to be so different. One that's not worth doing on is Control c for copy. Control c is mapped to abort application. Right, that's about all that's worth changing in the gconf editor. You can scroll through, have a look at some of the other options you can change. I've not gone into all of these. Things like the change desktop background, you can always right click and go change desktop background. It's far simpler than typing in a file name. Hmm, picture opacity. 
Yeah, there's an awful lot I haven't really gone into on this. So, hope you found that useful. That's given you quite a few options you can tweak in GNOME and Ubuntu. So, thanks for watching. See you later.